welcome back to another video welcome back to my channel my name is ruth if it's your first time here welcome so in today's video i'm going to be giving you a mini grocery haul and uh we went to okay Mart, so i'm just giving you a grocery haul to start with we had maputi and my children love those then we've got soup powder i just love to buy a lot of them so that i do not run out and then we've got a uh, salad dressing. I got the ranch and the sweet chili. And then we've got uh, baby food. Yeah, we love to buy those so that a baby can snack on that in between meals. And yeah, sometimes they can even make a meal. So um, I'm just showing you how many we got. Then we also got light bulbs. And those are the flowers that my husband bought me. He bought them for me two days before Valentine's Day. Can you imagine <laughs> who does that? Obviously, my husband, yay. <laughs> yeah, so um, now uh, I've got fatties and mornings. I love the spaghetti, guys. I just love it. It's one of the best spaghettis on the market for me. And I love it. Every time that I sit in the shop, I just get... A lot of it then i've got vanilla essence i love to use this on my bag on the baking goods that i bake for our home in tech i've got other goods that i'm putting there the flour noodles for the kids then snacks then that's the baked beans it will last us for two months and then we've got that cereal guys if you haven't tried it try it just mix it with your plain yogurt and you're good to go um and then we've got juice for the kids we've got juice also for the kids i don't like juice i just like to drink water and there is more snacks and there is milk everyday milk for the kids cereal so we also got more uh goodies for the kids and there is my spices and more juice for the kids i'm more and then we also got toilet paper yes that's just for me and my husband so i think it will last us for quite some time in milk and then we went to sari we got t-bone we love t-bone steak and then we got commercial beef that's good for chewing guys and it was going for 4.3 for the 5 kg i think that's a good deal and then so we also got these drumsticks from sari i love them guys and they're not like any of those other meat you see and um we also went to cork home. We got the pork chops. Uh, those are pork loin pork chops. I think we got the 5 kg. That will last us for quite a while. We also got dog food. And it was 1.3 for a pack of 12. So we just mix it up with our dog food and we are good to go. We just give them one pack per day. We also got a uh, country style sausage. I love to have those in the fridge just for when those nights when i don't feel like cooking and then we also got the ribs i love those ribs guys and then we got the bacon make sure when you're buying you take note of the expiry date because i've noticed that sometimes the expiry dates will be so close and then those are just our toiletries and then the paper towel and more toothpaste and then i restocked on my towel cleaner i love them but they're expensive so i don't buy a lot I just buy two so yeah and then those just our toiletries our mouthwash and stuff we also got pasta and then we got tomatoes i love to buy my tomatoes and freeze them then great as i cook it just makes it easier for me and i don't have to worry about buying tomatoes and then there's more spices and then those cookies my daughters love them not the baby though <laughs> The other two older ones. And then I've got my Zoe. And then we've got onions. So I think that's just about it. Oh, yeah. And we got apples also for this whole thing. We it, we paid for like $10. And they're so fresh. They're not like those apples from the shop. Where by just as the minute you get out of the shop, they are rotten. These will be fresh and they'll stay long for about two, fresh for about two weeks. So that's a good deal. We also got a sack of potatoes. And we do not like to buy them from the shop. We just like to buy from vendors outside. I think that's just about it. Thank you. Hey there again, guys. Welcome again <laughs> to my channel. So um, I just thought that today, since I did a grocery haul, I should take you through my meal planning. Um, in case this is something you've never seen before, this is what we call a meal planner. 
um i like to use weekly meal planner this helps me to be more organized in my home number two this helps me to also track whether my family is getting enough nutrients every week and every month i take the papers then i go through them to see whether or not i was giving my family and my children enough meals like a balanced diet because sometimes with our busy schedules and i'm also a busy woman i am a stay-at-home mom but i've got some projects that i'm running so i'm so busy sometimes you might get you might end up repeating the same meals number one number two you might end up just giving your children meals that they don't even like so um it helps me and here where the notes are it helps me i just jot down whatever i've observed on that meal like what happened did the children like it did i also like it or anything that needs to that i need to buy specifically for that meal but i normally like to prepare my meal plan uh, according to the things that i have in my pantry and in my fridge so first and foremost i just go through my cupboards and my fridge to see what i have and i jot it down either in my phone or on a piece of paper like what i have here so that i just know what i'll be working with and what i will not have and then i just go through here it says monday breakfast lunch and dinner so for us and i know maybe even for most families um these are different like they are so so different because my children need a lot of carbohydrates and a lot of proteins while is i'm now on a diet i'm on a low carb diet so mostly i'm just taking in proteins and fats that's all i'm taking i'm not taking any carbohydrates so i also have to put that into consideration as i'm making this meal plan so for breakfast like for instance here for breakfast my children have cereal before they go to school and as soon as they wake up i like for them to have something warm in the tummy uh, and then so here for breakfast i'm mostly going to write what which kind of cereal which type of cereal they're going to have first and foremost whether we're going to cook like maize meal porridge or they're going to have cereal and which kind of cereal specifically they're going to have for that day and then i also write down what they're going to be taking in their lunch boxes if they're going to school on that day and what i will be having for breakfast so i just jot it down so that our house self will also know and in case i'm busy or i'm not available people will just know what we are eating and then for lunch i do the same most uh in most cases for lunch i don't eat anything because i usually have my breakfast late around 12 because i'll be doing intermediate fasting so i normally have my lunch at around 12 p.m so i don't take lunch so i'll just write what uh what the children are going to have for lunch on that day then for supper normally uh they are not there is not my variation it's just that i will not be eating the carbohydrate and the children will be eating the carbohydrate and the starch and the vegetables and no and the carbohydrate and the protein meat and also the vegetables so let me just show you an example of how i do it uh for so for breakfast first and fourth first the children are having cereal and are going to write here cerevita that's what they're going to have then in their lunch boxes today they carried chocolate um chocolate cupies cupcakes i made cupcakes and an apple for their fruit of the day it's also important for me that my children have fruits and a fruit then they will have juice with that then for me i just had eggs and leftover meat leftover meat then for lunch the children today they're going to have fresh chips fresh chips and russian sausage i will not be having any lunch maybe i'll just have water 
Then for supper today, for dinner, we're having beef stew. Beef stew and salsa and veg tables. That is what we're going to be having for dinner. So it will look something like this. So I'll do the same for Tuesday. I'll do the same for Wednesday. I'll do the same for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So every single day, I would have planned a meal. Meal planning allows you to not repeat meals, number one. It allows you to also know whether you are catering for your children's dietary need and for your own dietary need. And you you plan for meals ahead, like on beef stew, I know that I have to boil the meat first. If we're going to be having chicken roast, I know that I have to marinate the chicken at least four hours before we have it. If we're going to be having tea bone, I know that I have to remove it from the fridge and just marinate it a bit. If you're going to be having pork chops, so the list goes on. I get, I, I hope you get, you hear what I'm saying. So I just print this from Pinterest. I'm going to insert a video, a screen record of how I do it. Then I just send it to my email. Then I print it off our home computer through my email. So that is just how I do it. It's easy. And I know it's just like 20 copies for a dollar. So anyone can have this. This can help you to keep... Have you ever been called by your house of asking, it's so embarrassing. But when you have this, it allows you to plan. And you know. And don't plan. Hear me? Very, very carefully. Don't put anything on your meal plan that you do not have in your house. Because this is just going to disrupt. In the event that you are not going to be able to buy that thing, then you're going to have problems. So rather just leave it... Um, blank until you buy or just put something then next week you can put it in your meal planner just if it doesn't matter if you only have beef stew if you only have beef in your in your cupboard you can uh actually cook the beef in another way maybe you can just say today you're having beef stew tomorrow maybe you're having like beef mixed with veggies we like to call it I feel it's in Zimbabwe, or um, we called it why not when we had boarding school. I don't know why. Mixing your meat with your veggies. Then you can also maybe make beef stir fry. Maybe you there's a lot you can put variation. Doesn't matter if you've got the same meat. I know there are some people who say they don't eat pork, so to have that variation might be, or they don't eat any other meat. Some don't eat beef, some don't eat pork, they only eat chicken. So you can also do the same for chicken, chicken stew, chicken roast, chicken barbecue, chicken whatever. You just make sure that you put the variation. And once you put it down in paper, it will motivate you to actually make those meals so that even your own um, your recipes, they won't be boring. So that you're not having, even though you're having the same kind of meat, like regularly, it doesn't have to be boring. It doesn't have to be the same old beef stew every day. It doesn't have to be the same old chicken stew every day. You can just mix it up a bit and writing it down will make you, it will actually motivate you to do more. So I'm just going to continue just jotting down what we're going to be having. So for breakfast on Tuesday, the children are having some.
so that is the finished product guys and um you see that on some days i left out the lunch because most of the time we won't be in the house at that particular time so i wouldn't want to plant something or to just fake it and put it there for yeah because maybe after check sometimes we go and eat somewhere else and on saturday after having that heavy heavy breakfast we won't be really hungry so maybe we just snack and maybe go for milkshake or something while less we wait for supper so we don't usually uh, plan for that unless if we're having guests or if we're spending the whole day at home so i hope you learned a thing or two from this video guys and please just let me know down below do you meal plan do you um how do you manage your meals in your houses and in your homes yeah some of the yummy cupcakes and cute cupcakes i did for valentine's day thank you for watching guys till next